This is uh, part three, all right? That they may go into the gates of the nobles. Let's continue here, all right? Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them, and I will return your recompense, all right, upon your own heads. Okay, and again, you read that all throughout the scriptures, whether you're reading uh, Thessalonians, uh, First Thessalonians, what is that? Uh, Second Thessalonians 1 and 6, all right? I will recompense all those that trouble thee, all right? Uh, what is that? In Obadiah also tells you that, I believe, around the 15th verse, okay? All right? which pretty much says the same thing that it says here, I will recompense it upon your own heads, all right? So people, what you need to understand, this is real reparations, all right? It's, it's what the Lord is doing, all right? In World War III, the Battle of Armageddon, bringing the nations together to bring about his judgment upon the nation for what they've done to his people, as we have read here in Joel, the third chapter. All right, and you can also read about it in Isaiah, the 34th chapter, all right? All right, and it's throughout the scriptures, people, all right? It really is. You know, Isaiah, the 47th chapter, you know, Jeremiah 49, 50, 51, okay? Uh, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter, I read you a little bit about that. All right, but you guys can read the whole thing. Uh, again, Joel, the second and third chapters. All right, throughout the book of Revelations, okay? Culminating in the, you know, actual destruction of America, Babylon the Great, in Revelations, the 18th chapter. All right? All right. Uh, where are we here? All right, so I will sell your sons, right? Whose sons? Okay, the Edomites. I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. See, that's recompense. Okay? All right? That's recompense, people. All right? into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabines, to a people far off. I believe the Sabines are sort of a mixture of uh, Arabs and Hamites, all right? Uh, for the Lord Yahweh has spoken it, all right? Proclaim ye, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, right? The Gentiles, the heathens, all right? Prepare war, wake up the mighty men, right, the militaries of those nations. Let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, and let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. All right? Let's see here. Let the uh, heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Again, Yahweh Shapat, Yahweh's judgment upon the nations. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come ye get down, for the press is full and the fat overflow, for their wickedness is great. You see that? Multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision, right? For the day of the Lord Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall not shall withdraw, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Why is that going to happen? Thermonuclear fire, people. Okay? Concentrated laser fire from the chariots. You understand that, people? All right. All right. Let's uh, let's get back. All right. Let's get back. All right. So that's to give you an example. You can also go read Isaiah the thirty-fourth chapter. All right. So now you understand 
that the Lord Yahweh, the host of armies, he must nerf the host of the battle. The battle is Armageddon. Just giving you a taste of that. All right. They come from a, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, all right? Even the Lord, right, Yahweh, who's sending his son, right? That's why we say Yahweh Bashim coming in the name of, right, his son Yahweh Shai. And the weapons of his indignation in the game chain means righteous anger, okay? So you see the Lord is not coming back here with flowers and candy or hugs and kisses, all right? And his weapons of indignation, righteous anger, to destroy the whole land. You see that? In America, Babylon the Great is going to be a desolation, people. And you people should already know that. Matter of fact, let me take you to something. Give me a minute. This is Isaiah 66 and 15 and 16. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots, right? What they call UFOs, UAPs, like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Remember that the Lord is a consuming fire, okay? You read that in Hebrews uh, 12, 29. And um, what is it that you read uh, in Luke 12, 49? You know, I have come to send fire on the earth, and what if it already be kindled, all right? For by fire, right? So we're talking about thermonuclear fire plus the concentrated laser fire from the chariots. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord Yahweh, all right, plead with all flesh. What does plead mean? Bring judgment. So bring judgment to all flesh and the slain of the Lord Yahweh shall be many. There you go. All right? All right. So, where are we here? All right. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. See? Not, not love, people. Not uh, flowers and candy or hugs and kisses. See that? And many of y'all running around out here talking about, oh, God, it's all love. Oh, yeah, everybody, are you saved, brother? Everybody's going to be saved. I don't know where you all get that. I mean, I really do know where you get it, but you know what? None of that is scriptural, as you could very well see. It's not scriptural, people, all right? That stuff is not in the scriptures. So what are you doing? You're adding to the word, and when you're adding, that means you're subtracting, and that means whoever's doing that, they're going to receive the plagues of this book. As you read in, uh, you know, uh, what is that? Revelation is the 22nd chapter around the uh, 18, 19 verses there. All right. You're not supposed to add or take away from this book. And if you're adding to it, you are taking away. All right. Because you're replacing it with something else, which is a falsehood, deceptions and lies. All right. All right. So, therefore... Therefore, uh, shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. And they shall be in pain as a woman in, uh, that travaileth. You know, like a woman going through, you know, birth pains. All right? Getting, getting ready to uh, give birth. And they shall be amazed one another, and their faces shall be as flames. See that? All right? You... You people get the picture of that? Uh, what is that? Uh, Terminator 2? All right? You know, and she's holding on to the fence. Okay? When that, uh, you know, she uh, she foresees, uh, you know, that vision of the thermonuclear fire. Okay? And you can see when it, it uh, you know, burns her skin off and all you see is a skeleton. <laughs> all right? All right, and there are many scriptures like that. Go read, uh, go read Malachi, the uh, the fourth chapter there, verse one through uh, three there. All right, um, you know as well as Isaiah, the thirty fourth chapter. All right, uh, what is that? Uh, Second Ezra is the thirteenth uh, chapter as well. All right, behold, the day of the Lord cometh, 
cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate. Okay? See that? Right? And he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And that includes two-thirds of Israelite. And that's pursuant to Zechariah 13 and 8. That's pursuant to Romans 11 and 7. All right? Israel have not obtained what it's seeking for as a whole, but the election have obtained it. Because that's who the Lord's coming back for, the elect. All right? And that's pursuant to many precepts. All right? Matthew 24, 31, um, Isaiah 45 and 4, okay? You understand, people? All right? It's all about the elect, all right? Revelation is the, the seventh chapter, okay? Uh, Revelation is uh, the 14th chapter, verse 1 through 5. We'll clearly tell you that, all right? All right, it's all about the elect. All right, so... Uh, so what does it say here? Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, right? Uh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. All right, just finish reading that. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. Okay, you people should know why. All right, the sun shall be darkened. Uh, in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause a light to shine. Again, that's all because of the thermonuclear fire, all right? Concentrated laser fire, the chariots, all that, all right? That's why, you know, the uh, the sun will be darkened, all right? And the moon shall not give light, all right? And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And again, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Job 9.24, Malachi 1 and 4 tells you who that is. Esau, Edom, the Edomite. The Lord calls them the borders of wickedness. All right? Because every border of every nation, where they're at, that's what they bring. Okay? And that there are people, a nation. Okay? So it's talking about the nation of Edom. And we've already proven that. Whether you say the word Edom or you see the word Idumia, it means the same thing. It's talking about the same nation of people. All right? Talking about the white man, all right? And his nation, okay? So, um, and he have indignation forever with that nation. Again, what is that? Right? Just anger forever with them. Does not the scripture also say that he is angry with the wicked every day? Yes, he is. And remember that they are the people cursed to the Lord's judgment which you read in Isaiah 34, 5, and 6. And like I said earlier, again, people, when you read that chapter, you can start from the first verse, all right, and read on down, it'll tell you right there in the fifth and sixth verse that America Babylon the Great is a sacrificial altar unto the Lord, a burning sacrifice. He have, you know, a, a sacrifice in Basra, that's talking about America Babylon the Great, and a great slaughter in the land of Edom. Talking about America, Babylon the Great. Yeah, and how's that going to happen? Through that thermonuclear fire. That's what's going to create the lake of fire. You understand? And on top of that, you have the concentrated laser fire from the chariots. All right? So there's no getting away from that, people. And as you read down, like when you get to the 8th verse there, it'll tell you this is for the controversy of Zion. For the controversy of of what they have done to his people, to you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that make up the 12 tribes. All right? All right. Um, we're going to end this here. We'll be right back. Give me a minute. All right. We'll be right back with uh, part four. Show off.